SlotPy is a modified version of the Python 2.6 interpreter that automatically adds error tolerance to your script and prevents them from crashing due to uncaught exceptions. I'm going to demonstrate SlotPy's capabilities on a data processing example. Here I have a 600 megabyte portion of a log file from the Spirit supercomputer that contains 5 million lines. The full log contains several hundred million, so it's too large to run for this demo. If we look through this log file, we'll see that each line contains information about some event, like a network connection or a kernel panic or a hardware failure. Let's say I'm a sysadmin and I want to uh, graph and analyze the distributions of IP addresses that request services through the ZynetD daemon. So if we search for ZynetD in this file, we see that lines that contain ZynetD have this format. So if we search a little bit more, and we keep on looking, we see that each one follows this format where there is an IP address in this from equals field. So knowing that, we can write a very simple script to extract this information and to um, post-process it somehow. So in the interest of time, I've already written a script, which is the simplest possible script for getting this information. So it iterates through every line in this file, splits it based on white space into a list of tokens, and then it looks to see if the eighth token starts with ZynetD. So the eighth token, again, starting from zero index, is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the one we want. If it matches, we're going to take the twelfth token, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, which should be this from equals IP address token. We're going to split it based on an equal sign that we get the from and IP address in two separate components, and we're going to grab the, the index one, which is this IP address. Now that we have the IP address, we're going to once again split it based on the uh, dot character so that we can split it into its con constituent bytes. And finally, we convert these bytes into integers by uh, adding an int conversion. So at this point, we can do all sorts of numerical computations on these four integers. We can do distributions and histograms and other kinds of um, computations, but for simplicity we're going to simply just print them to standard out. So if we run this script in regular Python, it'll process it for a bit and then it will crash with some mysterious error. It says less index out of range. I don't know what happened. But this isn't that surprising because I didn't really understand the log file format. I just looked at a few entries and winged it and, and gave it my best shot. Of course, I got something wrong, and I will probably have to handle some special case where the list index is out of range. But if we actually run the same script using SlotPy, um, it will actually process everything and just run the completion. And occasionally, it will print out some um, special NA value to represent the fact that um, there's an exception that was thrown. So what ends up happening is that whenever SlotPy is... Um, iterating through a line and throws some exception, it simply creates an NA value called not available and prints that. And notice how uh, every record is being processed independently so that just because one line is uh, throws an error, it doesn't mean that the next line will throw that error. The next line could be perfectly fine. And notice how after about 20 seconds, SlotPy finishes uh, processing and prints out all the IP addresses it can find. So in a real example, this might take uh, tens of minutes or even hours to run. And you don't want it to you don't want your script to crash after a few hours um, and give you, you know, no useful results. So in addition to producing results, SlotPy also produces some log files. So in particular, we're going to look at this verbose.log. So this slotverbose.log tells us exactly what exceptions it caught and turned into NA value. So here is the first exception that we saw when we run, ran with, with regular Python. It says list index out of range, and this is the line that threw the exception. Now, in addition to giving you the line that threw the exception and the full stack backtrace, uh, SlotPy also records the values of the local variables at that time. And what's important about the local variable values is that we can actually see what is the offending line. So remember that the line variable actually here holds the line we're currently processing when the exception was thrown. So this line variable um, starts with sign at D, but then it has some other message like ZynaD shutdown failed. This is obviously not an IP address um, or a service request. And we just didn't take this into account because we didn't see it in the original data set. So uh, if we had run with regular Python, we would need to patch up our script to take this into account and make sure that the index is in, in, um, in, uh, is in balance. So 
Another example of a, um, an exception, there's a lot of exceptions actually that are thrown here. Another example um, that's interesting is this one. So somewhere down the line, there's an exception that says invalid inter, uh, literal for int with base 10, this weird string thing. Again, we have the context, so we can see what line caused us to crash this way. So if we actually look um, for the line, we see it's here. This is the line right here. There's um, some wrapping around through the terminal. But notice how everything looks good. There's a sign at D, there's a from equals, but wait, this is not an IP address. This is some weird garbled character thing that's obviously not an IP address. So when you try to convert this into um, an IP address, it'll throw an exception. So again, if we had processes with regular Python, we would need to take these weird special cases into account, which probably don't come up very often. But with Slotpy, we just write the simplest possible script we can, and it actually, in this case, it finds all the IP addresses, and then it um, just skips over all the records and cannot parse. And I think that this code is a lot simpler than the code you would have to write if you were running a regular Python, because it doesn't contain any special exception handling, record skipping, um, special case handling code. It's just the simplest code you would think to intuitively write when you look at this data set. And Slotpy basically allows you to write really simple scripts without worrying about error handling, um, and, also, and it'll let you produce partial results so that you can iterate faster when you're prototyping.